Well, Ghana and the world bid farewell to former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan yesterday in a state funeral attended by African leaders and international statesmen who hailed his record as an adv advocate for humanity and world peace. Anand's coffin was placed atop a cannon to make the final journey to the cemetery where a small private ceremony was held. The former Secretary General, a Ghanaian National and Nobel Peace Laureate, died in a Swiss hospital last month at the age of 80. Around 6,000 mourners packed the auditorium for the official service. Now, the climax of a four-day funeral ceremony, which has seen his coffin draped in the Ghanaian national colors, displayed for public viewing. To the big world. He was Kofi Annan, global statesman par excellence. To me, he was simply daddy, my hero. His legacy will live on in his foundation and in all of us. My love, you are now back home where you started your long journey. May you rest in peace, but may your wisdom and compassion continue to inspire us and guide our steps wherever we are. Like few in our time, Kofi Annan could bring people together, put them at ease, and unite them towards a common goal for our common humanity. There is an old joke. The art of diplomacy is to say nothing, especially when you are speaking. Kofi Annan could say everything, sometimes without uttering a word.